Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're going to bring you a great matchup between the Shawnee Mission East Lancer, Lancers, coached by Nate Southwick, versus the Shawnee Mission South Raiders, coached by Seth Peck. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from East. Hi, I'm Dennis. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Harrison. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Ray. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a senior as well. And our contestants from South. Hi, I'm Evan and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Bennett, I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Charlie and I'm a senior. Hi, I'm Nick and I'm a senior. And I'm Ben and I'm a senior. All right, fantastic. Both teams senior laden today. That's pretty exciting. That's maybe the first time in memory that I believe we have had that on both sides. So, excellent. All right, so here in categories on the first round or in the first round, we will take turns answering questions. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point for their squad. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by the Raiders. So, Shawnee Mission South, you get the, the first category, which is a science, specifically species. What were the first vertebrates to crawl onto land? Ben? Australopithecus? Cannot accept that, sorry. Lancers, chance to, chance to steal this science and species category. What were the first vertebrates to crawl onto land? Harrison. Fish? Cannot accept fish. We're looking for amphibians. Amphibians. A little bit simpler than yours, Ben. That's okay. All right, Lancers, we are coming back to you. The world of geography is the category. Which country shares its name with a nearby Middle Eastern river? Harrison. Jordan. It is Jordan. Back to you, South. Literature is the category. This poet and author's work includes Where the Sidewalk Ends and A Light in the Attic. Name him. Nick. Shel Silverstein. That's very good. Lancers, back to you, general knowledge. Traditionally, if a boat is sinking, which two groups get in the lifeboats? Harrison. Women and children. Women and children. South, government and economics. What form of government holds the country's executive leaders accountable to the legislature rather than the citizens? Nick? Constitutional monarchy. Cannot accept that. Lancers, chance to steal this government and economics category. What form of government holds the country's executive leader or leaders accountable to the legislature rather than citizens? Dennis. Representative democracy. Don't accept that. We're looking for parliamentary government. Parliamentary government. We are staying with you, uh, Lancers, with U.S. history. In 1976, so he would rank above all other American generals. An act of Congress promoted George Washington to a general of, of the armies with how many stars? Harrison. Five. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Raiders, chance to steal. Evan? Six. Six, so it could be above all the others. Raiders, staying with you. Animated film is the category. Disney's Beauty and the Beast received much attention as the first animated film nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. But it was not the first full-length animated movie to win an Academy Award. What feature film earned that distinction when it won eight Oscars in 1939, one of normal size, and other ones miniature in size? Evan. Snow White. Snow White, very good. Lancers, back to you, current events. President Trump address global economic leaders at the World Economic Forum in Davos, or Davos, where the event is held every year. In what country, known for its, Dennis? Switzerland. Switzerland, very good, known for its banking. South, back to you with sports. A power play is associated with which sport? Ben. Hockey. Hockey. <coughs> back to you, Lancers. Vocabulary. Does apropos mean the opposite of irrelevant, Tasteful, indeterminate, enduring, or gauche? Harrison? Irrelevant. Irrelevant, very good. South, math and geometry. 
The lengths of the bases of a trapezoid are 18 and 26. What is the length of the median? Ben? 21. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Lancers, chance to steal this math geometry category. The lengths of the bases of a trapezoid are 18 and 26. What is the length of the median? Andrew? 22. 22, very good. <laughs> Lancer, staying with you, you have the category of sports. What athlete is the only American ever to win and still claim the cycling's Tour de France? Harrison? Oh. Lance Armstrong. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Raiders, chance to steal this sports category. What athlete is the only American ever to win and still claim cycling's Tour de France? Greg LeMond, Greg LeMond. Raiders, we are staying with you. General knowledge is the category. Why is this sentence, you're starting the sentence with the quote here, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy sleeping dog. Why is that sentence used in keyboarding classes? Ben? Contains every letter of the alphabet. Contains every letter, very good. Back to you, Lancers. Fine arts and music. Miles Davis and Dizzy Gillespie were both jazz artists on the trumpet, clarinet, flute. Harrison? The trumpet. The trumpet, very good. Back to you, Raiders, world geography. Name the two Central American countries that border Mexico. Ben? Guatemala and El Salvador. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Lancers, chance to steal this world geography question. Name the two Central American countries that border Mexico. Harrison? Guatemala and Belize. Those are the two. Back to you, Lancers. Science geology is the category. Which of the three types of rock is generally deposited as a thin veneer over large continental areas? Andrew. Sedimentary. Very good. Raiders, back to you. Current events. Senator, Senator Tammy Duckworth announced she is expecting her second child in April which will make her the first sitting senator to give birth. Which state does Senator Duckworth represent? Ben? Indiana. It is not Indiana. Lancers, chance to steal this current events category. Senator Tammy Duckworth announced she is expecting her second child in April, which will make her the first sitting senator to give birth. Which state does Senator Duckworth represent? Harrison? Arkansas? It's not Arkansas, Illinois, Illinois. Lancers, we are staying with you. Literature is the category. What two things begin to stink in three days according to poor Richard's Almanac? Harrison? Milk and eggs. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Raiders, chance to steal this literature category. What two things begin to stink in three days according to poor Richard's Almanac? Ben? Cheese and bodies. <laughs> Cannot accept that. Fish and visitors. Fish and visitors. Good guesses, though. Those, I would imagine those things would stink after three days as well. All right, Raiders, we are staying with you. U.S. history is the category. Hubert Humphrey was the vice president to which president? Ben? Jimmy Carter? It is not Jimmy Carter. Lancers? It's Harrison. LBJ. LBJ, very good. Sean Mission East, we are staying with you. Government and economics is the category. Which amendment prohibited the manufacture, sale, or transportation of intoxicating liquors? Andrew. 18th. It is the 18th. Raiders, vocabulary. Identify this synonym ending with the suffix I-V-E. It's defined as inclined to take something in. Ben? Inductive? It is not inductive. Lancers, chance to steal this vocabulary uh, category. Identify the synonym ending with 
the suffix I-V-E. It's defined as inclined to take something in. Andrew. Inclusive. Not inclusive, receptive. Receptive is what we were looking for. Lancers, we are staying with you. Math is the category. What is the largest prime factor of 100? Time on that. South, chance to steal this math category. What is the largest prime factor of 100? Ben? Five. It is five. Raiders, staying with you, history and inventors. What did Guillermo Marconi invent? Ben? Television. I cannot accept television. Lancers, chance to steal this. Harrison? The radio. Cannot accept that either. We're looking for the wireless telegraph. Wireless telegraph. Lancers, we are staying with you. General knowledge is the category. What do you call a seawall that protects a harbor, coast, or offshore structure from strong waves? Harrison? A break. We will accept it. Break or a break block. Raiders, coming back to you, U.S. geography. What is the largest city in Kentucky? Ben? Louisville? Louisville. Very good. Back to you, East. Science is the category. Starting off with a little quote. King Philip came over for ginger snaps is a mnemonic device used to, re to help remember what? Andrew? The biological classification system. Very good, yep. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and species. Very good. Raiders, back to you with media, specifically television. A popular television series of the 1950s had kids all over America donning black capes and masks and, ad and adorning the signs of buildings with a single letter Z. Name the show. Nick? Zorro? It is Zorro. Lancers, back to you, U.S. Geography. The waterfalls on the Merrimack River furnish electric power for manufacturing, for manufacturing centers in two states. Name either one. Harrison? Virginia. Sorry, Virginia is not one of them. Raiders, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. The waterfalls on the Merrimack River furnish electric power for manufacturing centers in two states. Name either one of them. Ben? West Virginia? Not West Virginia. Massachusetts or New Hampshire are the two. That siren does denote the end of our first half of play, and Shawnee Mission East has opened up slight lead here with a score of 12 to Shawnee Mission South, 8. Before we head into our usual campus updates from both teams, we are going to uh, update everybody at home with our, our standings for the season so far. Right before we go into our playoffs, our, and as you can see on our screen, Blue Valley West has finished their season with a record of 4-0. Shawnee Mission East, who is competing right now, is uh, not far behind with a record of 3-0. And our third place uh, finisher is uh, Blue Valley Northwest right now with a record of 2-1. Two and one. And then there are three teams with 2-2 two and two records that have finished their seasons. Uh, by nature of getting the most questions correct, Shawnee Mission West is currently our fourth seed going into the playoffs. As I mentioned before, we will go to a student from each team as they will give us a campus update. And Dennis, you are representing the Lancers today. So what is happening at Shawnee Mission East? We recently just had our big winter dance over the weekend, WPA. We sold almost 1,000 tickets, which is about 200 more than we get on average. So that's the most in recent history. Uh, we've also got our big musical curtains coming up this week. It's uh, Thursday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday it'll be playing. Uh, so if you're in the East area, please stop by. And last but not least, our swim team uh, just got first at Sunflower League for the 15th year in a row. So a lot to be proud of up at East. And I'm assuming diving's along with that too. Yep, swim okay. and dive, right. excuse fantastic. me. Fantastic, fantastic. And Bennett, you are giving us the update for the Raiders. What is happening over on 107th Street? So uh, we are about to have our winter dance uh, coming up this weekend. And our theater program is about to put on uh, Beauty and the Beast. All right, fantastic. So good stuff happening. It's an exciting time of year for everybody. And of course, we just had some snow, so that kind of put a little buzz in the air. So we'll see how it goes. 
All right, as we resume our uh, competition here in the second round, our lightning round, traditionally we start with our look and listen question, which is going to be worth two points for our contestants. We will be displaying it here on a monitor for our uh, players, and we will be displaying it for you as well at home. Just as a reminder to our contestants, when someone rings in, we have to stop the video at that particular point. All right, so here we go. Both teams' hands on buzzers. Here is our look and listen question. This landmark signifies a quest for this beverage by a local favorite. Harrison? Roastery coffee. Roastery coffee. Very good. Two points. As we continue here with our uh, lightning round, questions will be placed on the floor for either team to answer. Just as it was in the first round, if a team answers correctly, they earn a point. If they answer incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal the category. So both teams, hands on buzzers. The first category is literary terminology. William Dean Howells defined the aims of this literary style as, quote, nothing more and nothing less than the truthful treatment of material. What name do we give it? Bennett? Autobiography. It is not autobiography. Lancer's chance to steal this literary terminology category. Harrison? Nonfiction. It is not also not nonfiction. It's realism. Realism. Music instruments is the next category. This musical instrument looks like a small handheld xylophone and adds a bell-like sound to many bands and orchestras. Its name in German means bell play. Ben? Glockenspiel. It is a glockenspiel. <coughs> World history for both teams. Before returning home to lead the fight in India, Mohandas Gandhi spent 21 years in another country on another continent. Name that country. Andrew? South Africa. It is South Africa. U.S. Geography Resources. What state ranks first in the nation in the value of its mineral production? Harrison? West Virginia. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Raiders, chance to steal this U.S. Geography Resources category. What state ranks first in the nation in the value of its mineral production? Evan? California. It's not California. It is Texas. Texas. Current events for both teams. In a recent scientific discovery, a 1.7 billion year old chunk of North America was found stuck on what distant continent? Ben? Asia? It's not Asia. Lancers, chance to steal this current events category. In a, a recent scientific discovery, a 1.7 billion year old chunk of North America was found stuck to which, di which distant continent? Harrison? Australia. It is Australia. Spelling for both teams. Defined as easily affected, influenced, or harmed by something. How do you spell, spell susceptible? Dennis. S U S C E P T I B L E. Perfect. Both teams. Chemistry is the category. A comparison of both sides of a properly written chemical equation always shows a balance in the number of what? Dennis. Adams. Adams. Another science question, this time medicine. What is the name of for the surgical or traumatic removal of a limb. Ben. Amputation. Amputation. Fine arts, opera. In order to write this operetta, Gilbert and Sullivan went to Portsmouth to inspect the HMS Victory. Gilbert made sketches of the ship and riggings in order to design the set. He also designed the uniforms. Name this operetta. Nick. This is the Navy. It is not, this is the Navy. East, chance to steal this fine arts opera question. In order to write this operetta, Gilbert and Sullivan went to Portsmouth to inspect the HMS Victory. Gilbert made sketches of the ship and riggings in order to design the set, and he also designed the uniforms. Name this operetta. The HMS Pinafore, HMS Pinafore. Both teams, sports is the category. Of the major North American sports, baseball, basketball, football, hockey, and soccer, which sport 
has the oldest Hall of Fame? Harrison. Baseball. Baseball, very good, 1939. History is the next category, specifically naval ships. Every ship in the U.S. Navy made prior to the War of 1812 had passed on its name to, to later Navy vessels with one exception. Ben. USS Constitution. It is the Constitution. World geography for both teams. Serving as Pakistan's capital from 1947 to 1959, it is the nation's largest city, its main seaport, and industrial center. Name this city. Harrison? Islamabad. It is not Islamabad. Raiders chance to steal this world geography question. Serving as Pakistan's, Nick? Jakarta. It's not Jakarta, no. Karachi, Karachi. General knowledge for both teams. Give the general term for chemicals that kill unwanted weeds and other plants. Ben. Pesticides? Cannot accept pesticides. Lancers, chance to steal. Herbicide? Herbicide, very good. Your light didn't come on, Harrison. That's why I was confused there. That is the correct answer, however. All right, history for both teams. What feat was necessary to win the 25,000 Ortig Prize offered in 1919 and claimed in 1927? Harrison? Be the first person to plant your nation's flag at the, Ar at the North Pole. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Raiders, chance to steal this history question. What feat was necessary to win the, 20, the 25,000 Ortig Prize offered in 1919 and claimed in 1927? Ben? First controlled nuclear reaction. I'm sorry, that also is incorrect. We're looking for the first solo nonstop transatlantic flight. Government and economics for both teams. Which term refers to a government representative responsible for interacting with the representatives of other nations? Taylor. Ambassador. Cannot accept that, I am sorry. Raiders, chance to steal this government and economics question. What term refers to a government representative responsible for interacting with the representatives of other nations? Ben? Diplomat. Diplomat is what we're looking for. Shakespeare is the next category for both teams. Four of Shakespeare's histories were based on what royal war? Harrison? The Hundred Years' War. Cannot accept that. Raiders, chance to steal this as Shakespeare category. Nick? The War of the Roses. War of the Roses. Science is the next category. What three conditions must be present to produce fire? Harrison? Uh, fuel, ignition, and uh, source. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Raiders, chance to steal this uh, science category. What three conditions must be present to produce fire? Ben. Fuel, ignition, and oxygen? And oxygen, yep, that is the other one. Math for both teams. How many dots are there on a six-sided die? Ben? 21. 21. Journalism. Actually, journalism history is the next category. Two of the greatest hoaxes in the history of, of journalism concerned the discovery of Batman on the moon and the Atlantic balloon crossing. What 19th century man of imagination perpetrated these hoaxes? Nick? Hearst. Is that Hearst? Lancers, chance to steal this journalism and history question. Two of the greatest hoaxes in the history of journalism concerned the discovery of Batman on the moon and, Atl and an Atlantic balloon crossing. What 19th century man of imagination perpetrated these hoaxes? Harrison? Pulitzer? Is that Pulitzer? Believe it or not, Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poe. European history for both teams. With which period of European history would you associate the names Donatello, Erasmus, Ben? The Renaissance. It is the Renaissance. <coughs> General knowledge for both teams, multiple choice. Learning can be described as a change in behavior that occurs as a result of practice, intelligence, memory, or intuition. Ben? Practice. It is practice. We narrowed the gap here a little bit, Shawnee Mission East 20, Shawnee Mission South 17. 
World geography, another multiple, well, excuse me, this is a multiple answer question. World geography, arrange the following Canadian cities in order from west to east. Ottawa, Montreal, Vancouver. Ben. Vancouver, Montreal, Ottawa. <clears throat> Sorry, that is incorrect. Lancers. Harrison? Vancouver, Ottawa, Montreal. That is the correct order. Sports is the next category for both teams. When the prestigious club at Wimbledon was founded in 1870, it had nothing to do with tennis. In fact, it was dedicated to another genteel sport. Which one? Ray? Badminton. It is not badminton. Raiders, chance to steal this sports category. When the prestigious club at Wimbledon was founded in 1870, it had nothing to do with tennis. In fact, it was dedicated to another genteel sport. Bennett. Golf. It is not golf. Croquet. Croquet. Math is the next category for both teams. What is 25% of three hours and 20 minutes? Andrew. 50 minutes. You are correct. Fine arts for both teams. Francois-Auguste René Rodin was a famous French artist. For what field of art was he best known? Harrison? Portraits. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Raiders, chance to steal this fine arts category. Francois Auguste René Rodin was a famous French artist. For what field of art is he best known? Ben? Romanticism? It's not romanticism. Sculpture. Sculpture. Government in terminology for both teams, multiple choice. <clears throat> a grand jury is a jury that decides whether Someone should be formally accused of a crime. Laws were correctly interpreted at the time of trial. A newly pass, passed law uh, is constitutional or government official is guilty of a crime. Harrison? Government official is guilty of a crime. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Raiders, chance to steal this uh, government terminology question right before the buzzer. A grand jury is a jury that decides whether someone should be formally accused of a crime. Evan? Should be formally. Someone should be formally accused of a crime. That is correct. However, during the middle of that question, we did have our final siren uh, announce the end of our competition, and Shawnee Mission East comes out on top with a score of 22 to Shawnee Mission South, 18. Please join us again here on Categories as we will continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.